local news eight in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 657. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, Idle Falls residents are frustrated after another downpour yesterday evening. Some homes and roads experiencing flooding again. They say the stormwater system here is so outdated and cleanup crews need to react faster to prevent considerable damage. Number two, Idle Falls celebrated the opening of the state's first youth crisis center. The new Rise Up Teen and Child Crisis Center will serve youth ages 12 to 17 who are struggling with mental health issues. And it is different from the Behavioral Health Center as it is aimed to stabilize and refer avenues of help rather than provide treatment. And number three, Idaho State University President Kevin Satterley has decided that it is time to retire after holding the position for five years. His last day on the job will be December 31st. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com and the Local News 8 app. Let's check now back in with Jeff. All y'all graduate, he dropped the mic. He's out. <laughs> Don't have to put up with that no more. Yep, congratulations. That is great. Can I get a doctorate before you leave? Malad with some heavy clouds. You see the rain showers we're dealing with on Viper to start with this morning. More of that today. Heavy rains and storminess as a low just kind of swirls into the eastern part of the state. We're going to see a lot of these state line showers is what I call them, border, border showers, uh, and into the southeastern highlands as well. We're already getting some of that this morning, and it's not helping with the flooding that we're seeing along the port. Nip. So from Incom, American Falls today, you're already seeing the showers to the south of Burley and into Mackey, Butte County, where we've already got a flood watch up. Just know that there's more rain and it has nowhere to go. It's over saturated. It's like staying in the bathtub too long. Everything's getting wrinkly and everything's just kind of falling apart. So it's just it you, the trees have come out of the ground and this is going to be it's going to be bad because tomorrow the winds are going to be 20 to 40 miles an hour. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and give you all a heads up that anything that is loose in the dirt tomorrow with the wind that's coming through here it will not be a happy situation. You'll be cussing. We'll have to bleep you. It will be into the 50s overnight and we've got more uh, colder weather in here for today and tomorrow. It's only going to be in the low 70s. The extension of this forecast yields some pretty nutty conditions on into Father's Day. It will be into the 50s into Jackson. Pocatello, low 70s today, cooling off, windy, and some unsettled uh, soil conditions on into tomorrow. So just know that you're going to have some work to do. Speaking of that, share your unfinished DIY project. Is there a tree that needs to be replaced in your yard from a neighborhood child who didn't put it back? Uh, what do you have going on? <laughs> Jeff.roper at localnews8.com. I want to see the pictures. I'm trying to find the video of my parents' oven that fell apart. They're having that replaced. Oh, okay. It was a pipe. Well, have more.